are there any good men out there? It's a question that many women ask. And you know, when I meet women, I tell them about what I do. They always ask me, what advice do you have for women? So what I want to do is share my top three tips for women to meet a good guy. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first tip that I have is to think outside the box. I'll give you an example. I've worked with a lot of guys throughout the years, and I can't tell you how many men that I've worked with are awesome. You know, they're super successful, they're funny, they got good things going on, they've worked really hard, they wanna love, they're very generous, they're great people, but a lot of women don't give them a chance right up front. You know why? Because they don't look like they're gonna be on The Bachelor, right? They may not be over six feet tall, they may not have the perfect hairline that starts right over the eyebrows, they may not have the guy next door look or the rugged look or whatever it may be. They're not stereotypically the poster child for being super, super good looking. And because of that, unfortunately, they have a little tougher time getting in the door with more women, right? When they approach a woman, they may not get great reactions every single time. You know, if they're on something like a dating app, they may not be getting a lot of right swipes because they don't have that traditional look that women are looking for. And I'll tell you what, I know guys who have had that traditional look that didn't have too much going on between the ears. So my first piece of advice is to give men a chance who are a little outside your typical type okay if you're looking for a certain guy it has to be a certain height has to have a certain look has to be like this or that if you're too rigid in what you're looking for then you're never going to have the chance to connect with somebody okay a good friend of mine just told me the other day that you should lead with a connection first and worry about the other things as it goes on right if you have a connection with somebody and get to know them on a deeper level then they become more attractive in your eyes it doesn't need to be love at first sight it doesn't have to be someone you need to brag to your friends because it looks like a supermodel or something like that it wants to be this is somebody who you're going to be spending a lot of time with that you want to build a connection with so going deeper and basing your connection off things that really make them who they are and the way to do that is to give people a chance who are a little more unconventional if a guy winds up talking to you who may not have been the traditional guy you look for be open-minded you can give him a shot the second piece of advice I have is to go for what you want. This is a mistake that I see a lot of women make. What they often do is they wait for guys to make all the moves. They're waiting for the guy to send the first message. They're waiting for the guy to do the approach. They're waiting for him to ask for the phone number, to ask us out on a date. Then after the date, <laughs> they're, at, they're waiting for him to follow up again, ask for another date, ask all the questions, this and that. They're kind of sitting back and waiting for the guy to do all the work. And what happens is a lot of those guys who they were interested in wind up separating and just disappearing into nowhere because they didn't put in enough effort, okay? A lot of guys, they don't want to guess that much, right? You know, they want a little bit of a challenge, but they don't want that much of a challenge. They want to know when you're interested in them. They would like you to put in a little effort here and there, and it's very, very much appreciated. So if you like a guy, you've met him, why not, you know, ask him to go out sometime. Say, hey, look, let's meet up this weekend, right? Why not make it easier for him to move things along forward? Hey, if you're out, and you see a guy who's attractive, give him a look, give him a smile, right? Encourage these guys to talk to you. Encourage these guys to move forward with you. Don't make it so hard for the guy to have to do all the work. If you like something, if you want it, go for it. You know, tell him you're attracted to him. Tell him you'd like to go out with him. You know, a girl who is bold and has some confidence is very surprising because guys don't really run into that a lot. So it's definitely a good thing to show a little confidence and go for what you want and ultimately, you'll get what you want. I had a girlfriend years back and I complimented her. I said, you know, you're really confident. When we started talking, you know, you would message me a lot. You know, we got together and you were almost a little bit aggressive, but it was in a good way. And she told me, she said, look, I liked you. I wanted you and I got you. It worked. And I thought that was awesome. She was super good looking and she had a lot of options, but she knew what she wanted. She put in a little extra effort and it worked for her. My third and last piece of advice is to make sexuality an afterthought. What I mean by that is, you know, if you're online posting pictures only trying to look really pretty, you know, if you meet up with guys and you talk about just surface level things and you don't show any depth or things that you're into or really build yourself and share your good assets, then there's only one asset the guy's going to care about, right? And that's your looks and your sexuality. So if you want to build a lasting connection with a guy and have a guy who sticks around and somebody that you wind up doing things with, they need to show 
a lot of other aspects of your personality. Don't be so guarded. Share the things that you're interested in. Share some of your good qualities. Don't be afraid to share those things about yourself that are magnetic and make you the type of person that people want to be around. If you're playing hard to get and being really aloof and you know you're just trying to be attractive on the outside, then no one's ever going to get to know you on the inside and build a real connection with you. So those are my three best tips to meet and keep a good guy in your life. If you have any other questions or things you want to hear more about, send me a comment right below and I'll get back to you.